Hi guys, welcome back to Rav's Retreat. Rav's in the shack again. Um, on the previous video we were discussing life centres. Um, and again, in this video we're going to be discussing them. Got a bit of a fetish for them I'm afraid. I don't know what it is. I just enjoy life centres. Help. <laughs> Right, the first one I'm going to show you is what I regard as being one of the, I think, the one way and this particular life centre which I'm about to show you are probably the best life centres on the market. Okay, if you're looking into uh, buying a life centre that doesn't come with extras, you know, um, pieces that, that fit in and adapt it and this, that, until the... If you just want a good old basic heavy duty, you know, last for years life centre that will handle some gigantic work, then the one way and these. This is the Robert Sorby step center the live center step center uh robert sorby life center step life center i think i think that's what they call them let's have a look what does it say on there just says step center so it's a step center basically you know that that you would use to drive your wood it's a step center that basically had some really good bearings pushed up its backside and then followed up with a, a 2MT taper. Um, they're brilliant. These bearings are second to none. They're fantastic. I am a bit of a connoisseur for smooth a connoisseur for smooth bearings, and these are some of the best bearings I've ever felt. They're brilliant. Um, and when this baby grips into some wood, it ain't going to let go. It's like, it, it's the English bull terrier of the uh, life centre. Or, or the pit bull of the life centre. You know, you don't want it uh, getting hold of you. This thing, once it bites into the wood, that wood's going nowhere. It's just brilliant. But I made a mistake with it, okay? This one is the 7 eighths style, the 7 eighths size. That's a problem, okay? It wasn't until I got it home and, and been using it for a couple of weeks that I realised that I made a mistake. The trouble is, the one you need to buy is this one, the smaller one. This is the half inch one. Now you're probably thinking, well, surely the bigger one will handle bigger wood. No, it's exactly the same life centre. Same bearings, same everything. It's just the head that's smaller, okay? But the trouble is, this thing, the smallest spindle you can put on there, is 7 eighths of an inch. The smallest spindle I can put on there is half, a, is half inch, okay? But... This life centre will still handle gigantic pieces of wood that this one will. You know, a, a, a big thing will only handle big stuff. A little thing will handle small stuff and big stuff. So that's the mistake. If you're going to buy one, guys, go with the half inch one. They do, a, they do an inch and a quarter one, they do a seven eighths one, and they do an half inch one. The only one you need to buy is the half inch one, okay? They are brilliant. I cannot, like, tell you enough of that. It's just, they're just brilliant, these things, guys. Robert Sorby, so high quality. The bearings are second to none. These bearings are so silky smooth. I've had this going on for two years now and they're as smooth now as the day I got it 
beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, engineering. And as I say, when this thing grips into the wood, that wood's going nowhere. Brilliant uh, piece of kit. Really is. And the point is uh, it's spring loaded as well. So it, you can bite it in as much or as little as you want. Brilliant. And of course, it ain't going to split the wood. It's, it acts a bit, little bit like a, a ring centre or a cup centre, but with more aggressive, you know. It's got teeth rather than a ring. It's brilliant. Cannot enthuse enough about these guys. If you're looking for a a life centre that will handle, you know, everyday wood, just day in, day out. This is a centre to go for. This, I think this and the one-way life centre are the two best life centres on the market. Okay? For day in, day out use. Now, the next life centre I'm going to show you is also brilliant but in a different way okay hang on if you'll just bear with me now this is the Nova before I got my uh, Jet 3520B I had a Nova, Nova DVR XP which unfortunately blew up and went to the big turning shed in the sky but anyway I bought this for it um, it's a Nova life centre bearings are as smooth as silk excellent bearings and it's so adaptable this thing is so adaptable because you get you know various things with it I think it was about £60 to buy so it wasn't cheap but it's worth it it comes with the, the standard 60 degree centre 60 degree centre it also comes with a little miniature 60 degree centre if you can see that I don't know if you can see that it also comes with a cup centre you can see that that you have the choice of whether you have a point in it or not personally I keep a point in it other people don't but it gives you that opportunity whether you want one or not right and then it comes with what is probably the most important thing it's this but basically these fitments that fit in here there are two MT taper okay that's all it is now that little adapter thing that I've just put in lets you screw this thing in okay and you could thread wood onto that for some reason you know use your mind think of the possibilities thread some wood onto it the world's your oyster it also comes with this as well that looks like a garage bolt thread that in and you could maybe put an MDF disc on it and use it for sharpening or whatever you want the world is up you know it's up to you think of the possibilities but then it comes with what is probably the most advantageous ad adapter you leave that in there you get this put that onto there and you've got a nice big cone centre 
to use on his spindle work or whatever you want you know maybe if you if you're doing um, making spheres you could use that and it's perfectly in line there's no wobble on it whatsoever because of course you're using a 2MT taper so it's automatically lined up right you take that out That angle there matches this angle in the cone centre. Pop that on. Sorry, that angle there matches this angle in the cone centre. Pop it on and you've got a step centre. Okay, with what? One, two, three, four, five, six different steps to go at. Think of the possibilities. I mean, I've even used it using this surface up against wood you know and so it doesn't mark I've even got a piece of leather put it over there and use that up against wood so it doesn't mark it's a brilliant uh, and it fits like a glove that really does it literally holds itself on it's brilliant perfectly in alignment so you know if you're wanting a a live centre that will you know do a hundred and one jobs then the Nova is probably the best one on the market if you're wanting a live centre that's gonna bite into wood and not let go and handle everything you can throw at it then you need a Nova or a Steb, or a Steb live centre brilliant Right guys, there's just one more thing I was going to mention to you. Um, you know, sometimes if you get to... If you've had a few different lids and you get these live centres with them that are usually pretty rubbish. Well, I, I, I keep them, me. Uh, but uh, when I'm pen turning, pen turning mandrels are well known for destroying... Uh, the 60 degree points on life centers okay so instead of using an expensive life center on them use a cheap nasty one okay this came with my Nova DVR XP now it's not a cheap nasty you know the bearing in it's perfectly adequate alright it, it won't handle huge loads but uh, it's okay but why would I uh, use a £60 or a £70 life centre when I can use a £10 life centre on it? I mean, pen, pen mandrels are well known for destroying the 60 degree points on, uh, on life centres. I know that because I've done it myself. So... Don't destroy your expensive life centres. Use a cheap one, guys. Just a, a little tip for you there. Use one of the cheap, nasty life centres that came with a lady got a few years ago. Let it destroy that rather than an expensive one. Right, guys. I'll end it there. It's getting a bit cold, getting a bit late, so I'm going to duck back into the house. Thank you for watching the videos. If you enjoyed them, please um, hit the uh, thumbs up button or maybe you'd like to subscribe. That would be great. Super smashing fantastic. Um, and if you've got any comments, please do leave them. Um, I don't know everything. You can tell me things. That's what comments are there for. I can maybe tell you a few things you can maybe tell me a few things i love learning so please if you've got any comments please leave them don't be shy all right guys i'm off i'm out of here it's getting a bit cold i'll catch you later thanks for watching take care take care of your fingers your eyes and most importantly your lungs because you'll not do much wood turning without them catch you later guys bye bye now take care